Okay guys, it's that time. Last match. I was afraid of this. Okay, so the longest reigning world champion has been of course, Samson, he held the t he's held the defended the title for 19 times. Tied for the most held is Ace and Jet. I'm not gonna read. I'll let you guys scroll. Pause. I did this once before. This is Georgia Saw Cattle Featuber. Oh, this is TV, dang it. And then all of a sudden, sure enough, my phone decided, no, I'm boring with this. I don't want you to record. Insectoids. I was so afraid of that. What's going to happen? My longest rating, of course, is Shop of Horrors. Grand Manga and Hakka Tonga did get close, but uh, no cigar. They eventually, they had to settle for being the second longest reigning. Okay, longest reigning TV champion, average guy, and despite his reign of 26 defenses, this the TV title, even back in the 90s, was still cursed. Dickie Thunderbird was on his fourth reign when we started in the 90s. He was followed by Mr. Tycoon's third reign, average guy took the title, Hammerhead, an average guy, Mr. Tycoon for the fourth time, Hammerhead, Hard Hat Bud Duncan took the title, Hammerhead took it for the third time, followed by average guy's third time, Zen took the title for the fourth time, Mr. Tycoon his fifth reign, Magnifico took it once and only time. Mr. Hollowness is an interesting guy because I didn't realize he had defended. I forgot he'd held the title so many times. His sixth reign, Lad the Cool, Undermaster, Harry the for his third reign, Jupiter, and Mr. Hollow for his seventh reign. Jupiter won the belt back, Beef Buffalo, Memphis Prince, Vegas. Techno get out his fourth because of Pelvis Presley. Mark Bug took the same belt his brother would have had all those years ago. Memphis Prince took the belt again, followed by Max Attack. Eddie Grange, Memphis Prince took the title for a third time. Max Attack the second, Memphis the fourth, Hakutanga for his fourth. Memphis Prince took the title for a fifth time. I mean, he was, there was a time he was really just the, the guy. Average guy took it, then it was Harry. Memphis Prince took it for a sixth time. Average guy took it for his fifth. Followed by Vlad the Cool, Max. Attack for his third power boy. Technically it's his fifth time because he had a power of Star Boy. Max Attack took the title four times. Killer Clown once. And our current champion, of course, is Troglov. Trog Longest reigning again, it was average guy, Mr. Hollow, seven times. Alright, going to the cruiserweight. We had Dickie Thunderbird in his second reign, followed by the Shark, then Romeo, Jesse Wilde, then Avery, I can remember when they cheated to get those belts. Goblin Knight took it for his third time, Zen took it. Then for his first reign, Zombie Skater won it. Beaten by Problem Child, only to be beaten by the zombie again, to be beaten by Problem Child. Arizona took it the title chance for his fifth time. This was followed by one of the greatest periods of the cruiser weights in the 90s, Magnifico. Then it was Kurt Grunge, this month, Kurt Grunge 2, Eddie Grunge, Danger Zone, Eddie Grunge took the title belt again. Now actually this is where the greatest time period came from. Then we had Grand Mega taking the title to lose it to Magnifico, who lost it to Grand Mega, who lost it to Magnifico, who lost it to Poison Frog, 
who lost it to Magnifico, who lost it to Poison Frog. Now, once Magnif uh, Poison Frog took it the second time, and the series kind of, that period kind of ended. Well, Hooligan took it for a second time. And Chance, Arizona Chance took it for a sixth time. Cannibal Keith, then Lifeguard Chip, Ricardo Swab, O'Hulgan for the third time, Blaine Fantasy took it for a little bit, O'Hulgan took it for a fourth time, Poison Frog is our current cruiserweight heavyweight champion, Dickie Thunderbird will remain the longest reigning cruiserweight champion with the four defenses, Arizona has held the title six times. When the 90s started, Lindy Parker was our champion for her third time. She was defeated by the Smuck, who luckily, thank God, only took the belt once. He was beaten by, by Penny Dreadful, who was lost the title to Succubus. Penny Dreadful, again, then for the set, seventh time, Gorgon Tokoro took the title. She had a massive feud with Madame Tiki, who took the title for the eighth who lost it to NT Voodoo for her second reign. Gorgon beat Voodoo for her eighth. Who lost it to Madame, Madame Tiki for her ninth. Gorgon would later take the title for her ninth time. Madame Tiki won it an unbelievable tenth time after that. Elfette finally took the title from her for, the, for her fifth run. Lost it to Lindy Harper on her fourth run. Who lost it to Sh Sergeant Slipley for her second. Gorgon Turkoro was not going to be denied. She beat Char Sergeant Slipley to win the title for her tenth time. She did. She lost to Penny Dreadful for her third run. Finally, for his historic eleventh time, Gorgon Turkoro took the title. Lost it the very first time for our girl Spucky Sparks with more on her side. She lost that title to Elfette for her six runs. Elfette was defeated by Sissy for her only reign as women's champion because Spunky and more came back big time and took the title for a second time and defeated by Elfette for the seventh run. Spunky took it for her third and final run. Gorgon Torcoro with her historic 12th reign championship won it from Spunky. She was defeated by Donde, who was defeated by our current champion, Meeks. This means, of course, that Madame Tiki's Longest reign is no longer in danger, and there's no one who can challenge that. She's got eight title defenses. Also means that Gorgon's Tokoro most held is not nowhere near in danger. She held the women's championship for 12 times. I think that's the most of any champion. Uh, Battle Royale, the men from the 90s was Jet Set. Then it was Ace. Okay, I'll be right there, buddy. Jet was again. Then in 93, it was a hooligan. 94 and 5, Ace won it. 96, Grand Manga. 97 through 9, Slash Master won it. I mean, this woman was just destroying everything. From 90 until 92, Gorgon won, won, won the women's battle royale. Then Lindy took it, Gorgon went back in 94, Elfette 95 and 96, 97, 98 was Lindy, and then 99, Gorgon. I'll be right with you, buddy, okay? Okay. Okay. In 90, in March Madness, 90 and 92, Dickie Thunderbird won it twice. Arizona won it in 94 and 98, was then only winning in 96. Tag Team Invitationals. The Behemoths won in 90, Anti-Americans won in 92, Command and Conquer won both in 94 and 96, and Howl and Roar would stop them from having a 3P in 98. Mm -hmm. 
Cruiserweight, uh, Chet Sky, 1 in 90, Grand Manga, 92, Michael T. Wolf, 1 in 94, Wing Chun, 1 in 96, and Ricardo Suave, 1 in 98. Turn to my Queens, which did not have any differences of period of time, we had. We'll have one more match, a oh, video after this, the actual video. This is just going through the records of the 90s. Um, 90 was Madame Tiki won the tournament, followed by Alphette, Bombshell 92, Sergeant Shirley won 3 and 94. Tiffany Fantasy, probably the best, the only thing she ever successfully did was win it 95. Valley Girl took it 96, the Smuck won the worst. Tournament of Champions, uh, Queens won at 97. Dawn Day has won at 98. We will find out in the next video today who takes it at 99. Well, that's the records. Mm -hmm. We'll see come the end of this next video coming up in a few minutes or after I'm done here. Who does what? This was just a roundup of the 90s. We're going to find out what happens and how it all comes to an end for rock and wrestling in just a little bit. Thank you guys for so much for your support. God bless each and every one of you. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in a little bit for the grand finale of this series.